Good day, human Latiosites. This is Latios Zubril, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Diamond Richlock. Last time, we rescued some Pokemon in, in Eterna City from Team Galactic, and we went digging for fossils. This time, we're going to go pick up... We're going to go resurrect the fo uh, a Pokemon with the fossil. It's a school fossil, so it's going to end up being Kranidos, obviously. But... The question is, who should I uh, box, Bud or Bob? The problem I have with boxing Bob is once again HMs. Even though, I mean, I I don't know. I kind of like Bib. Um, I kind of like the idea of having a Bibberl at some point, or a Bidoof for now, even. Bidoof is power. Whereas Bud is, I mean could be good, becoming Roselia and whatnot. We also have other Pokemon we could use, though. We have other Pokemon, don't get me wrong. But I think I'm going to do this. I mean, unless we want to use... We could bring back Magic, even. Or Shelly. Shell could be good, actually. Shell even has Water Pulse. That could definitely help us out. I mean, we do have a water type already. We could really use a fire type then. Uh, Bew, I mean, a Beautifly could be good, I guess. Maybe. Even though all Bew has right now is Harden. Monko, I, uh, Confusion and Bide. I don't count Bide, so just Confusion. I mean, admittedly, right now, moveset-wise, better than Magic. But, still, I, I don't know. I don't know about Monko. That said, I'm sorry for now, Bob, but I'm gonna deposit you for now. But there's, but that's it's not permanent. It's not permanent, necessarily. I want to get a chance to be able to use some other Pokemon. So, hello, hello, how are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me, right here and now. You a fossil for me? Yes. Should I turn into a Pokemon? Sure. I'm in the process of attracting your Pokemon from a fossil. You go outside. Yes, please. Now. Time alone is what I need. Now. Wow. Dude. Relax. Um. Hey, man. Well, how about that? The orb of mine sends under the sea floor. Hmm. Cool. Hello, hello. How are you? I study Pokemon fossils. Me. Right here. And now. You were gone too long. You kept us waiting. Unacceptable. This is your Kranidos. You'd be good to it, okay? So with that, we received the Kranidos. Give it a nickname? Sure. Sure, I'll, I'll nickname you. I will name you... Um... How about... Uh... I want to name you... Chet. So with that, we have Chet. Alright, I don't need another, um, Kranidos, though. Whoa, so this is cool? I never expected something this big. Huh. Interesting. Well... So, Chet is at level 20. Um, Bashful Nature... Focus Energy Pursuit and Takedown. Eh, I could deal with that. And Mold Breaker. Well, I'm a little concerned about using Takedown if we don't have Rock Head, but I don't know if, if it gets Rock Head as a normal ability. I don't know. I really don't know. But, that said, I'm gonna put Simba up front. And I'm going to give this Everstone to someone because who wants it? Charlie or Simba? For now, Charlie is not going to evolve. Actually, I don't need to give the Everstone to anyone. I might let someone evolve soon. Might just do that. And I thought I registered the bicycle already. I clearly, I forgot to do that. Well, here we have El Bicycle. All right. Um...
Okay, I didn't mean to take a step there, and I should have actually not done this with Simba out front. This is clearly a very bad idea. We're gonna have to bite that thing, whatever it is, to Geodude. Great, we're about to go for a physical move on a ground type Pokemon. On a ground rock type. At least we're not resisted. Give me that flinch, come on. Give me the flinch. Rock polish. Isn't that just awesome? Now that thing is gonna be faster. I'm pretty sure we'll still outspeed though. Yeah, we're gonna outspeed still. So what's the point of rock polishing a Geodude? Mud sport, okay. You think it even matters to lower electricity's power? You think it even matters? You think I need stab to do damage? Stab won't do anything. <laughs> that is hilarious. All right, AIs really don't know what they're doing. All right, with that bug, go to level 12. All right, next up is a Bronzor. Uh, now I'm actually concerned. I could let Chet do some work, maybe. Huh? I think I might just keep Simba in. Alright, Spark's not going to do very much because of that mud sport, so I'm just going to bite. They'll be neutral. Too bad it's not like in 6th gen where it's... Oh, great, that's... You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Alright, I think it's about time to go into Pablo. Just about time to go into Pablo. To go for a neutral bubble beam. Which is not electric. Not physical. And, yeah. Not electric and not physical. And you're gonna live. This thing is too confusing. Luckily, it didn't get too confuses. Alright, let's take the thing down to bubble beam now. Goodbye, bronzer. Yeah, you're done. Get wrecked. <laughs> Okay, with that, we defeated Hiker Justin. Oh, we can pick up this item. It is an air vent that exchanges the underground air's tunnel. Well, tunnel's air. That is actually really cool that they included that in, in the dialogue for that. We also got a super potion, which is also really nice, and it looks like Squire's holding something. Super Potion, even better. Okay, Squires, I think I might give you that Super Potion just because you're so awesome. We'll see. Here's Mount Coronet. Like I said, I might want to just hold off on our encounter for here. I don't know. The other hand, eh, I'll just take it. So our encounter with Mount Coronet, it's probably going to be a Chingling. Oh, wait a minute, we need Rock Smash, don't we? According to one theory, Mount Coronet is where the Sinnoh region began. And you are? In a newly created world, a world where only time flowed and space expanded, there should have been no strife. But what became of that world? Because the human spirit is weak and incomplete, strife is spread. This world is being ruined by it! I find that state of things to be deplorable. Alright, see ya. Well. Alright, so our encounter for Mount Coronet is... Not this. Fair enough. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. No, 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 no. I'm just scrolling too far. Well, we don't need Rock Smash here after all. What do you know? So here we are at Route 208. I'm pretty sure this is a new route. Okay, with that we got an X speed. That's something I could sell for nothing. It's not worth the money I, that I would get for it. Turn around, dude. Dude, turn around. Turn around. Now turn around again. Thank you. 
I don't think there's any way of us getting around this guy. I didn't mean to press right. I should have put Paddle in the front. I should have put Paddle in the front. Hiker Jonathan with an Onyx. Well, that's not at all unexpected. All right. And you know what else isn't? That joke. I will try my best to never make that joke again. That is the that pun is way too overused. All right. Rock tomb. Oh, great. And now we're slower. I'm. S I still think we'll outspeed Nonix though. I still think we can outspeed Nonix. But I think wrong. That rock snake knows what it's it, it is not is not that slow clearly and maybe we just are. I don't know, Pablo, I gotta heal you up. <laughs> You've gotta get healed up. And we can't heal up in Hardem City, because I still need to get to Veilstone before I wanna heal up. Alright, well Bud grew to level 13, that's something nice I guess. And once the Mega Drain, nice. Alright. Fair enough, let's give up... I'll give up Water Sport because I'm never going to use it. It could potentially be useful, but why would I want to use an aggressive against a fire type? I can understand why an AI would, but why would I? Unless I had to. Alright, we could get that item there if I had... If I had uh, Rock Smash on me, but... We also get an encounter here, don't we? There are all some berries. I know the berry masters right here, so get even more berries. We're not allowed to plant berries, but we are allowed to destroy these trees because apparently we are the enemies of nature. Apparently our rival isn't actually berry. Our rival is Mother Nature. And our goal apparently is to destroy the world. We're like Cyrus only more evil because at least he acknowledges that uh, people won't agree with him. We're just doing we we're just doing our things. Here's the berry master's house. Free berries available. Well, I heard the word free and I'm sold. Everyone seems to call me the berry master. I hand out berries daily because I want people to learn how wonderful they are. You're deserving of one. So now we got a Qualot berry. I encourage you to feed berries Pokemon that will make them happy. Seeing that Pokemon will be motivated to plant, people motivated to plant more berries, and that would make Sinnoh you know, a greener and more natural place. Sorry, according to the Rich Lock rules, I'm not allowed to plant berries. I didn't mean to buy mulch. That was an accident. Okay, well, that was an accident. I'm not, I have no use for mulch. We got a berry searcher app, okay. Alright, technically this isn't a shop, so I don't know exactly what the rules are with that, but I guess we can only buy mulch two more times. I guess. I, I don't know exactly how that works. If you, if you say hard and steady, I only say this. Pokemon contests. I'm going to enter my darling Pokemon in them. You go do that. Every year it gets voted the most desirable place to live in Sinnoh. Okay. Hard and steady it is. Here we are. Um. Whoa. Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be there. If it weren't for you, who knows how far my Baneri would have run. Pee Baneri, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira, I'm a Pokemon contest judge. Please stop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Kira. Alright, fair enough. Hi, hi, do you, have a do you want a Pokemon egg? They found this at the daycare in Selassie in town. Wanna take it? Hold up, you don't have enough room for an egg. Okay, so now we're offered an egg. Too many things, too many things to do. You know what? Huh. I'll think about the egg. We'll see. Oh, hi there. Oh, I'm so sorry. Please, excuse me. Are you entering a contest? <laughs> Enjoy yourself, please. Incidentally, Fontina, the Heart Home Gym Leader, also happens to be a contest expert. And do you know, and do, you may ask yourself, how do I know this? Well, I am Fantina. You may challenge me, but not yet. You must become stronger. Then you may challenge me. Wow. Get off your high horse, lady. Oh, my hero. Mom? 
Oh, hi, Lotazool. Hey, no, really? Joanna is your mom? So you might be a contest star. Oh. Oh, I don't know about that. Oh, thanks for the, <laughs> thanks for the word of confidence, Mom. I've never spoken a lot as well about contests. I'm surprised you two know each other, though. Oh, yes, that's right. I need to thank you for earlier. Please, take this accessory. So with that, we got glitter powder because, you know, we, we need that glitter powder. I don't know. Put that accessory on your Pokemon before a contest. It will lend a nice tough, um, touch of sophistication and glamour. I'm a contest judge, so come and join us for a different kind of fun. If you're unsure of yourself, we also offer practice sessions. Okay, Joanna, I'll see you. Alright, see ya. Were you surprised to see me, Lattisol? I got bored, so I came out to Hardome for a little vacation. I'm just as surprised to see you here, my dear. But are you serious about entering contests? Not for us that way. And your Pokemon are all dressed up. You can't be dressed your usual way. Put this on for a little glamour. So that we got a tuxedo. Huh. I'm sure it will look good on you. After all, I chose it. Go enjoy the contest, honey. Contests will give you a different look at the many charms of Pokemon. It should be an eye-opening experience for you. Bye now! Alright, see, I guess that was a quick vacation for you. You're going to enter the contest, but I don't see a poffin case. It could be tough for you to win the contest without it. But if you're German to enter, don't let me stop you. It wouldn't hurt to get some instant practice to counter in the right. Alright. Well, fair enough. I don't think I'm going to do any contests, though. I just don't see that happening. But, there is one of the coolest things in the game. I went for a stroll in Amity Square with my Pachi Risu, with my Pachi Risu today. I came across a Pokemon feather while we walked. Do you think it would make my Pachi Risu look even any cuter? <laughs> I don't know if it can. Pachi Risu already is adorable. So here we have Amity Square, Stroll with your Pokemon. Amity Square, there's some free stuff in there, and it's definitely a cool thing. It's really good to have Pachi Risu. So sure, I will take a walk with Squires, because why not? I came here with my Happity every single day. I can let it run free without any worries at all. Alright, cool. Ooh, I just can't believe it. I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. <laughs> it's the two of us. Woohoo. Alright. That we have TM43 for secret power. Not bad, not bad. Definitely a step up from tackle. TM45 for attract. I don't anticipate I'm really using that, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could, but... I don't know. You should talk to your Pokemon. It occasionally finds things. There's something shiny in Clefairy's hands. Huh. Cool. Those are ruins from a long time ago. Long ago. See, so you have your Drifloon. Alright, here we have... A spooky plate! Ooh, spooky. There is text engraved in the back of the obtained plate. When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. Ah. I don't know how much help that's really gonna be for us, but hey. You know. Whatever. With that, we found an amulet coin. Now that is gonna be useful for the rich lock. I don't think we're allowed to use it, though. <laughs> that would be useful. I don't think we're allowed to use amulet coins for this, though. So, oh, Squire is holding something. We got a thick mushroom. Mushrooms are creepy. Amoongus, you better be offended by that, but it's true. Those of you who disagree, I guess we can agree to disagree. Oh, don't almost trip, Squires. You can get accessories from here, which can be actually pretty good. So Amity Square is a really good... It's, it's one of my favorite features in Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl are not my overall favorite games, obviously, but... Uh, they improved Amity Square and Platinum by having, like, the warp panels in the ruins, and... Oh, we got a brown fluff, okay. 
and by letting you use the starters, so they expand the number of Pokémon you can bring, the, the type of, the amount of species of Pokémon that can enter Amity Square. It's really cool. Alright, Squires, I'll see ya a little later, maybe, I don't know. Alright. So, we have, I guess, decisions to make, don't we? I think we have a rival battle coming up, don't we? Yep. Ta-da! Kept me waiting in a lot of duel. Let's see how much tougher you and I have gotten right here and now. Hey, you're a trainer now. You're expect you're expected to be ready for a battle. No whining, no waiting. Let's get the show started. Hey, wait a minute, how did we get healed up? Did our mother heal us up? Or did we just get healed up in Amity Square? I don't think we got healed up in Amity Square. I don't even... I don't know. How did that happen? Well, either way, we are healed up somehow. Gift horse, mouth, I don't know. But, let's go for a spark. And that Starly's going down. Unfortunately, we don't have a fire. We do have a fly. We do have Charlie though for the uh, for the turtwig. So I guess we're in okay shape. Dweezil. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go into Squires because why not? Simbo already got a KO. So let Squires do some work here. All right. Let's. Let's go for a little spark here. You're gonna quick attack. You know, it's a good thing we have some nice defense since the, since the Pachi Rizu. Squires does have better defense than Simba, for obvious reasons. Though Simba does have a better physical attack. So... But then again, this is super effective, so I mean, it'll... In the end, it should do uh, enough. Bug to level 14! Alright, next up is gonna be a Grottle. Alright, not a Turtwig anymore. Oh, if Pablo had Ice Beam, <laughs> I need to invest in getting Ice Beam at some point. I'm going to go into Charlie for this. Charlie the Starly. Alright, let's wing it. Let's just wing it. <laughs> as long as I think it doesn't have a rock move, we should be in good shape. It's going to have some decent defense, but... I can attack lots. That's cute. Oh my gosh, I actually get damage. Oh yeah, I'll show you some, something wicked too. Alright, there you go for a grass move. Alright, we're gonna take down that Grottle. I didn't know we get healed up here. Was it Amity Square that healed us, or was it... Or was it our mother? Alright. Ponyta. I think Pablo is the way to go for this. If we had a rock move on um, on Chet, I would consider using it. But I don't know. All right, let's bubble beam. Oh, you think growling at us is gonna make a difference? Oh, oh no. All right. Here's a bubble beam. <laughs> there you go. Alright, nice try, but you're going down. There aren't that many fire types actually around here. That's... I don't know if... That's a little sad though, with the bell balance team-wise. Oh, you KO'd me, my team again? This messed up my dream of becoming the greatest trainer ever! No. I just need to get tougher and keep, wa and keep winning. One day. That's it. I'm going to the ch I'm to challenge the Veil Sun Gym Lex. See you around, Lonazul. You'll be blown away by how much tougher I'll be next time we meet. I don't want to be. I'm visiting here all the way from the Hoenn region. I have been hoping to find contest halls, but being new, I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people were very ki very kindly led me to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now may I offer you the courtesy of showing you the contest hall. Ah, follow me, please. Alright, sure, why not? 
This guy will take us straight there, even though, you know, I don't know what the point of this was, because you could easily get there yourself. This is the contest hall. Please do go inside. It makes me happy knowing that I've helped another person. Alright, cool. They call me Mr. Goods. No one knows my real name. No, not even I do. I dedicate myself to seeking rarities. That's what I live for. Hmm, I'll find something weird for you to talk to him some other time. Alright, you know what? I'm going to quickly find out. Was it Amity Square? I didn't notice. Was it Amity Square? Or was it our mother that healed us? I'm pretty sure it was our mother. It wouldn't make sense for Amity Square to heal us. That wouldn't make much sense. I don't think it would. No, it couldn't have been. Oh, it was! I did not know Amity Square heals you. That doesn't make sense. Why would it heal you just to go to Amity Square? I am really confused now. Because it's not like every one of our Pokemon left their Pokeball. Okay. I guess I'm not allowed in Amity Square then from now on. Because that would make things too broken. That would make things way too broken. Well. Alright. I'm gonna go pick up that egg. So. It's either gonna be Bud or it's gonna be Chet that I'm gonna have to deposit. I mean, Chet just joined the team. Uh, but... Hmm. I actually want Chet to actually be on the team for a little while, so... But, I'm sorry. Just for now. You might join later on, but... I'm gonna pick up that egg. Because... Leave no egg unhatched. That is a uh, phrase that I made up. Okay. So yeah, I will pick up this egg. Thank you very much. Hopefully it'll be something good. This is what I heard about eggs. If you take an egg and travel with energetic Pokemon, it'll hatch. Remember someone announced that. Professor Elm of Johto, maybe? Perhaps. There's a wrecked stone pillar up ahead. I wonder what it is. It's got my, me very curious. Well, we could have had an odd keystone. <laughs> if we, uh, wanted to. Hmm, a good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Sure, why not? Hmm, we're of identical minds. Take this. So with that, we got a good rod. Because good rods are good. Alright, I know how to fish. You don't have to explain it. I don't need to battle all these people right now. Though I'm pretty sure we have to battle these two. Whoa, we just had some real lag. Wow, I don't know where this lag is coming from. But... But, I think we gotta take care of this. <laughs> the lag just go away, just randomly? Well, the Pokemon Fan Club, old trainers are welcome. Interesting. The lag just... I don't, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened there. Hello, hello, how do I say? I'm Pokemon Fan Club Chair co I'm the Chairman. Yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what do you say? Pokemon Poffin. Interesting. 
All right. So with that, we got a Poffin case. That could be good. I guess we wanted to make our Pokemon do better in contests. All right. Hopefully we don't get lag like that in the future. I don't know how that happened. But we're battling this person, it looks like. We are definitely battling this person. And this person has three Pokemon. Pokemon Breeder Albert with a Bonfly. Oh, great. That thing is going to be physically defensive. Great! Just great. And I just deposited a special attacker. Alright, we got the power there. That's good. Be fully powered, please. Alright, there we go. That's good. Now I can probably just bite you to take you down. Well. Um. My computer lags. I don't know what to tell you sometimes. I, I don't know when that ha- Like, I don't know what caused that. I don't know why it stopped. I, I don't understand. All I know is that it happened. <laughs> Alright, well, either way. We shall persist. But yeah, Amity Square, I didn't know it did that. I, I honestly, I didn't know. But, now that I do know, I guess I can, uh, hey, at least now I know how to deal with it. Just, I guess don't go there? I, I don't know. I mean, I kind of wanted to go there the one time at least to pick up those items because Secret Power is a decent move. Spooky Plate is kind of good. Amulet Coin, I can't use it, but it could be good. I didn't know that, that, it, that it healed you up. So. Alright, I don't feel like getting Squires all paralyzed from that static Pikachu, come from that static Pichu, so I'm just gonna go for a Swift. I'm not gonna deal with Quick Attack right now. Alright. I guess we have to do a double battle, don't we? Double battle it is. Emma and Lil. All right. Here we go. Twins with Bonsly and Mayim Jr. All right. Well, I guess we can bite the Mime Jr. and... switch into Pablo because... Charlie can't do anything against the Bonsly. The Mime Jr. is going to live, really? I should have just tackled that. Great, now things going to bite us. Alright, I'm actually glad I switched. I'm actually really glad I switched now. Alright, I'm going to bite that thing, and I'm going to bubble beam that thing. Alright. So, well, you know what, we are now healed up, I guess, let's, oh, well, I guess now we're not healed up fully because our Pokemon just got some experience and used up power points and whatnot, but still, you can't go back in time. Oh, look, there's a guy dressed up as a Pikachu. <laughs> Alright, that we found an x here, so we could sell that. Definitely, we, we could sell that. Can also get our encounter for uh, here. This is a broken, crumbling tower made of stone. Okay, 
Well, if we had the odd, the odd keystone, we could, uh, well, trainer tips. You may register one of the key items. Okay, I don't care about that. I already have registered items. But the odd keystone, uh, could, um, be used to, I guess, make that, well, bring spirit to there, but you need to pass people. You, 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 uh, underground. A bunch of people. Which can get a bit annoying. Do I have to really battle her? You know what, let's get our encounter. So our encounter for this route is... Whatever we find next is we technically have dupes claws here. Well. Alright, so our encounter is... Dupes Claws again. Just great. Great. Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me. This has gotta be a joke. Oh my goodness, we can't get out of this battle? Alright, finally! Alright, with that, we got a calcium. We could sell that. Okay, now I actually want to find out what our encounter is. We're departed Pokemon Sleep. This is the Lost Tower. You know what, I guess we'll get our encounter next time. <laughs> For Route 209, or whatever. Also, there's Thalassian Ruins, so, I mean... That's something else we could go after. Also, we didn't buy any items in Hard Home. So we could potentially go back and get our items, like three items from there. Uh, what else? No, I don't want to plant anything there. Pick this figgy berry. We can also buy items here. So, I mean, how are we doing money-wise? We have... 34.9k. So we still need another like 15k. So I mean, still need some money. Oh, welcome. You saw the notice outside about hiring, right? Is that a Pokedex there? You must be known the known Professor Rowan. You're just the Pokemon searching uh, expert we've been looking for. Psyduck, I want you to bring this one. We must bring it back today, or we're not going to be able to run our main article. Remember, it has to be today before the date rolls over. All right. Well. So this is the Pokemon News Press, Wanted Pro Pokemon Catcher. I don't think I'm their guy, let's face it. Uh, I'm not a pro in any means, but... I think we can pick up some items somewhere. Here's the Celestian Ruins. We could get an unknown, but... There's some actually, there are actually some good items we could actually pick up there. I might actually check that place out at some point. Um, this egg is not near hatching. I might try to do some egg hatching and stuff off screen. I don't think you guys want to see me just bicycling back and forth. I mean, I could just do that, like, just keep the egg in the party, but I would rather have a sixth Pokemon. Just to have six Pokemon on their team. And our team really has changed, hasn't it? <laughs> Since last time. That said... Next time, maybe we'll head into the Lost Tower to get some items around there and get our encounters wherever. Yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll check out what's going on around here. Get some encounters. Get some items. Maybe even get to the next gym? Who knows? That's it. Thank you for watching. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.